Hi everyone, who's up for some corporal punishment? <laughs> Get it? Corporal punishment, yes, we're going to be doing another core workout today. And today you're going to require yourself a dumbbell, a single dumbbell, uh, a 2K, a 3K, 4K, 5K. That's what I'm going to recommend. All right, guys, first exercise coming up. So our first exercise is a standing side bend. Standing feet square, knees soft, hips hinged, abs tight. As usual, back straight. You're going to put one hand on your hip and then you're going to, holding a dumbbell in the other hand, just simply lower it from your hip to your knee and then drive back up again. Okay, we are squeezing the side obliques which are on the side of the hand on your hip. Okay, so we're isolating just where your hand is and just above that. All right, we're squeezing up there to pull the weight up. So we lower it with the control and then we pull and contract that side to pull that weight up each time. Okay, I don't do these heavy guys. We don't want to build the uh, obliques too much up. We might give ourselves a wider looking waist. So, and I've already got quite a wide looking waist anyway. Second exercise, here we go. Standing body twist with a dumbbell. Okay, so we're holding the dumbbell between our hands and we're simply turning from one side to the other and squeezing our abdominals to stop ourselves from turning. So we want to turn quite quickly from side to side, but what we are doing is staying within the 180 turn. Okay, so we're not turning too far and putting it in the spine. We're simply turning from one side to the other and squeezing the abs each time. Hopefully you can see me bending slightly each time where I'm squeezing abdominals to stop that movement. Okay, we're just using a few variations with dumbbells today, uh, keeping it interesting, hopefully here on MM2 channel. So, uh, turning from one side, to the other, keep the elbows up, feet square, and you're squeezing each time. Lots of concentration and mind to muscle connection on this one, guys. Keeping that movement going nice and fast from one side to the other. Squeeze, 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 and rest. Good job, guys. Listen out for the buzzer because the buzzer signals when you change exercise each time, guys. Okay, here we go. Nice fun one for you here. A little bit more advanced. We're going for a double up and then into two Russian twists, one side and the other. So extend the knees away, extend the body away, draw them in, extend out slightly, and then perform your Russian twist. So in, out slightly, Russian twist, extend out. Bring it in, extend out slightly, one and two. Okay, nice combination exercise, quite advanced. Uh, the most advanced one you're gonna get in this workout. Make sure you're turning your torso, not just moving the weight from side to side. And keep your eyes on the weight at all times. I find this really helps my balance. So eyes on the weight, as I go down, looking at the weight, coming back up, looking at the weight, and then from side to side. All right, here we go with a full up variation. So we're gonna hold the dumbbell above our heads, going to a overhead dumbbell pullover. And then using the momentum of the swing, we're gonna sit ourselves all the way up, pushing the weight all the way out to the front. Keep the elbows bent, swing the weight, and use this momentum to assist you in getting all the way up. If you struggle with doing full sit-ups, this is a great way to kind of build up to being able to do them. They, however, are an exercise I don't use often because they do overuse the hip flexors uh, and the quadriceps. So, uh, yeah, use this exercise sparingly, but it is a fun one to do um, and really hits the whole way down the abs. Uh, but as I said, it does overuse the hip flexors. Try to dig your heels down, make sure you're staying grounded and you're going all the way back, almost to the floor, and then all the way up to full sit up on each of those reps. Great job, guys. And rest. Okay, next up we have a basic crunch. Okay, we're gonna hold the dumbbell uh, in each hand, elbows bent, we're gonna extend it up over the chest, and then we're just performing a basic crunch. Make sure to lift the shoulder blades right off the floor and squeeze those abdominal muscles on every rep, just for the upper abs. Okay, the rest of the abdominals should be feeling a little bit more tired now, so these are really gonna isolate those upper abs and give the rest of the core a short break. Keep it nice and clean, lift those shoulder blades, lead up with your chin. So you're gonna lead with your chin, I like to say lead with your chin. Keep your head up, 
Keep the spine straight, keep your feet flat on the floor, legs at 90 degrees, and squeeze those abdominal muscles. Try not to let it go into your back too much. And rest, good job guys. Okay, up onto your feet, give yourselves a little shake. And here we go with our side bends. All right, so we are back to the start now. Hand on hip, I'm a little teapot, hopefully not short and stout. So hand from hip to knee, hopefully you get that old English rhyme. Uh, keep your back straight and your head up and keep squeezing that side with the hand on the hip. From the hip to the knee, low with control, never drop quickly, especially when you're working with weights. Keep in mind that weights have no mind, no conscience, okay? They're only going where you tell them to. So you've got to keep control of those weights. If you're ever doing an exercise where you take the weight over your face or over your head, uh, you know, always be aware that it's you in control of those weights. So just don't drop them uh, because they can injure. All right, great guys, well done. Side to side twist, standing side to side twist. I'll give you a different angle this time. So I'm just turning from one side to the other and I'm not actually turning fully to that um, 90 degrees or 180 degrees from side to side. I'm staying within the 180 so to not over rotate the spine. Taking my elbows from side to side, making sure I'm turning my torso and my face is staying in line with the weight. Sometimes I find it helps if you actually look at the weight while you're turning it like I'm doing there to um, stop myself getting dizzy and making sure that I'm turning my spine with the movement. Remember, we want to keep this in the muscles, not in the actual vertebrae themselves. Okay, obviously the spine is helping, but we want to keep those squeezes from stopping us from, as I said before, over rotating. Feet square, knees soft, watch that weight from side to side and put on the brakes using your abs each time. And relax. All right, on your backs. Okay, here we go with our double up and a Russian twist again. Okay, two Russian twists. Okay, we move evenly on both sides, so it's okay to move to one side and then the other each time. But if you wanna make it a little bit more uh, interesting, try going the opposite way each time. So you go left and right and right and left. One double up, don't forget to extend out slightly and then into your two Russian twists. Extend out, bring in, extend out slightly and then Russian twist from side to side. It's a little combination of two uh, abdominal exercises rather than just doing the one from side to side remember we're turning the torso so lift up extend out and then turn your shoulders turn your upper body from side to side on those russian twists okay definitely a, a fun exercise and a little bit challenging all right so we've got our dumbbell pullover and then going into a full sit-up yeah, I like this exercise uh, with the weight. Don't do them a lot. Um, as I said before, a little over extensive on the uh, hip flexors, but this is a, a, a nice exercise if done with good control. Uh, don't, do not jam your feet under anything. Don't secure your feet to something. If you're struggling, really try and dig those heels down. And if you really can't do it, drop the weight. And just do it without, you know, any of these exercises, guys, you could do without a dumbbell. But I'm only going to say it now so there's nobody out there doing it right from the start. Okay? So uh, use that dumbbell. That's why it's there. Um, abdominal muscles are exactly the same as any other muscle. A bicep, a chest, legs. You know, they're, 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 they're like small bicep muscles. And each one needs to be worked so we can make them stronger, make them grow a little bit, give you that harder stomach. On that nice flat abdominal wall, we can't just do it all with body weight. We're into crunches, okay? Held that dumbbell over your chest, not over your face, okay? Just in case you drop it, keep it over your chest. Elbows slightly bent and lifting up, get those shoulder blades off the ground and crunch those abdominal muscles. Good job, guys. Keep it going, okay? This is our last exercise. Thanks very much for joining us. Please make sure to like and subscribe and leave us some positive comments. Uh, if you've ever got any questions or you'd like anything specific covered, maybe a workout in a particular body area, then uh, let us know in the comments section and, uh, of course, we'll try and accommodate. Keep it going, guys. We're almost there. The bell hasn't rung yet. 
bell doesn't dismiss you, I dismiss you. Keep it going, right to the bell. There it is, fantastic job everybody. Like I said, please click that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We upload videos nearly every week. And, uh, you know, we really enjoy uh, seeing our subscribers and subscriptions going up and up. So thanks very much, everyone. Thanks for the support. And, uh, you know, keep, you, keep the good work up. Regular workouts coming up every week. So check us out. Thanks, everyone.